Kiora Ihoma. I'm Emily from Science and Event, and today we're going to be talking about the science of sound. Today you're going to see a little bit about a show we do in schools, and we're also going to be talking about how sound is measured. Now, sound is actually measured using decibels, and this, my friends, is a decibel reader, which is very exciting, and we're going to have a look at this a little bit more closely. Hey everybody, we've got the decibel reader working and if you come in a little bit closer, Alan, we can see the numbers going up and down and that's measuring the decibels. Um, now, the kids are outside having morning tea so I'm going to be quiet for a minute and we're going to see how much energy, how much sound is around. So you can see it's not at zero at all. There's always sound around really. Um, and this picks up everything. And it's an amazing little device that measures decibels. So the results are in from our science of sound show with our decibel reader. Yeah, like, <laughs> That's cool. Super. And what do we get? Well, we asked for the uh, students to be as quiet as possible we got to 45 decibels. When we asked for one student to clap, we got up to 64 decibels. And when we asked for all of the students to clap, we got up to an amazing 82 decibels. And when we used the foghorn, we got up to 90 decibels. The next train arriving at Lake 3 is a Southern Line service to Papakura. This is a 3 carriage. 